Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, the frostiest of planets. Um, in our last episode, we got our Aqua Tuner up and running, which is great. It looks like we are officially vacuumed out in here, so I can turn off the pump. That will make sure that steam can circulate around properly, because it's a vacuum. There should be no gas. Perfect. So then once this heats up enough in here, then we should start seeing steam. And aqua tuner, yeah, it's an overheat temperature of 325. So this is all looking pretty good. Um, yeah, our ethanol circulating is nice and cool. So that helps. We're at negative 26. So that'll be cooling things off quite nicely. Yeah, perfect. And then the metal refinery is the next thing I guess we need to do. We need to circulate. Whatever we use for coolant needs to be circulated through the steam chamber. For sure. Um, what could we use as coolant? Could I use ethanol? I forget. If it was really cold to start out, would that work? What's the, uh, the heat capacity of ethanol? Um... It can go down to negative 114, but then that's not going to make steam, right? We want something to be really hot to come through here. So I do think... I do think Nectar... I don't know. Seems like it's the way to go. It's got a heat capacity of 4, and can go up to 160. But seems a little obnoxious. Um, hmm. Yeah, we need something that's going to cool off more when it goes through the steam chamber. So that's where petroleum comes in. I really do think we're going to need to go to another planet to get petroleum. For now, I'll just settle for the very power inefficient method that is heating up this room, cooling it off. Um to 30 degrees using the ethanol and then the aqua tuner here will you know use electricity to add the cold back into this system so we should be okay um we should be okay and this should end up being negative 30 which is very nice So, yeah, so I think we've taken care of our heat problem. Now the next problem would be a power problem of this proportion. And the other thing I could do is work towards just free power from a volcano. Now the problem, how do I do this? This is such a tricky, cause this is scalding hot obsidian, right? So I never want my dupes to sweep this up and take it somewhere. I really wish there was a forbid sweeping area. Um, is there? Like you can't do priority not allowed. Can you? I don't think so. It really feels weird that there's not a forbid sweeping option. Cause basically if I mine out any of the subsidian, I want to leave it sitting there. I definitely don't want to do anything else with it. Um, I can deconstruct all these temp shift plates if I want to. I don't know if I really need to, but I could. Um, <laughs> how do I do this? Because my thought would be to have some metal tiles. You know, let's say of iron. I don't know, what's the, actually, what would the melting temperature of an iron tile be? Uh, 1500 C? Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, what tile could handle that? Lead? Certainly not. Probably steel? Maybe mercury? No, no, no. Mercury needs to be really cold. Uh, so steel could potentially do it. Copper? What's copper's melting temperature? I think it's pretty low. 
Yeah, just a thousand. So steel, I think steel's gonna have to be the one. So we'll need a few metal tiles of steel. Just imagine this is steel. And then you want a mechanized airlock. And this acts as like a, if it's closed, it'll transmit. If it's open, it won't. So you can do something like this, and then you can have your insulated chamber. I want to be careful. I guess they can't get over there. Um, so you have your steam chamber here. And I think I would want it to be big enough for two steam turbines. Is that big enough for two steam turbines? Um, I don't know. It won't let me. Oh, it will let me. No, it won't let me. You have to have the resources to show it, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. I guess I can look up here. How many tiles? Five? It's five tiles wide, so this would need to be ten tiles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. So, so something like this would work. Cinnabar or melting point, though. That's not going to work. Um, our base. What can I make this out of? I can make this out of steel as well. So I'd make that door out of steel. And then he's melt at 1400. That's actually problematic. Because won't that eventually melt? Like the thermal transfer is not super fast, but it happens. Interesting. Um, I might need to use ceramic. What about mafic rock? It's even lower. Granite? Oh wait, I don't actually want that to be built. Obsidian might be the one. Yeah, yeah, I can make obsidian insulated tiles. Do I have obsidian? Like enough of it? Yeah, I have plenty. Um, okay, so we would make obsidian Insulated tiles, at least for the bottom ones, that are going to be in contact with the super hot. And then... So we do something like this. Or no, sorry. That. Yeah. And then this would be an airlock made out of steel. And then... Yeah, that will essentially just leach heat off of this whole system. Eventually we'd run out of heat, but I would bet it's going to take a while. There's a lot of very... Uh, whatever. There's a lot of very hot obsidian here. There's a lot of heat energy. A lot of DTUs to soak up is my point. So then this would have water in it in here. And we would... I mean, I don't even know if we'd need anything else. Just a layer of water in here would be fine. And then we could have our steam turbines on top. So yeah, I think that's the essence of what we'd want to make. It's very interesting. I guess I could cancel it like that and then they could reach everything, I think. And make a big steam chamber. It's just so nice to get free power. And eventually we'd have to do something with the magma. But the problem is dupes are going to die real fast if they get scalded down here. So I don't really know. Um, I might need the, the exosuit thing. There's another type of suit. There's the jet suit. And I think the jet suit might be better than the exosuit. But it needs the orange research, which did we ever figure out what that costs us? Data analysis. Hmm. Consumes plastic and power. Virtual planetarium. Hmm. 
Okay, well, let's get those researched, just so we have them. Um, but, what the heck? It happened again? I really... This is starting to bother me. Um, I don't know what's going on. I do not know what's going on. I don't know why this is happening. It's got to be due to freezing and melting. It should be dumping polluted water over here. I guess let's also dump brine. If I mop up brine, I want that to be dumped. Um, ooh, it's not very much aluminum, but whatever. Free metal. Gas vent over pressure. Uh, what's happening with gas pressure? Interesting. Looks like we need ways for the CO2 to spread over. So this seems like a prime place to just... Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Um... Just ladder down. Open this up. Deconstruct that. And that should allow the pressure to equalize a bit there and push. It'll push more CO2 over here. Is why that's good. Yeah, what what happened here? Oh, and why are we running? I guess we're running out of power. Probably because of the stupid aqua tuner taking so much. Um I'm still just confused on where this polluted water keeps coming from. It's a tiny amount, so that does make me think there was a chunk of polluted ice somewhere that wasn't swept up. Because did we turn this off? No, that's still enabled. It's still allowing for polluted ice in here. Put it back up to priority six, because we've blocked off these idiots from grabbing all this polluted ice. And how did that turn to ice? How did 500 grams turn into a block rather than... Yeah, there, there are so many mechanics here that are weird. Because that should have turned into one of these pieces of ice, not an actual block of ice. Very odd. Okay, well, I think we'll get it cleaned up eventually. Now, more bonbon trees. I think more bonbon trees is going to be necessary. The problem is they take so much snow, I'm worried about the long-term cost. So having ones that are wild here seems like actually maybe the route I want to go. Um, I could run... They've only got three branches each, which is the unfortunate part. Um... And the stupid seals are gonna eat all of the. What is that? Bibi Biobot Builder? Wow, that could be handy. Um, it's all sorts of stuff. There's way more stuff on the map, that's for sure. I assume that's part of the DLC, but there's way more stuff than there used to be. But yeah, I think I just wanna get these naturally growing, and then I don't have to spend. It gets me a little less, but then I don't have to spend anything. So, sorry spigot seals, you guys are really cute. Um, but I don't need more ethanol. So, you're gonna get the axe. I'm gonna go over here and make some lights. If I can find it. Furniture. Healing light. And I forget the amount of lux that these things wanted. But 
I think. Oh, see, these do provide more lux when they're closer, so I don't really know the best. Can we get brighter lights? Let's see. If I type lux, will it give me things? No. Light. Ah! They're better ceiling lights. Spotlights. Gives off sunlight level lux. That's what we would want. Plastic ladders are wonderful, but there's no way in heck I'm going to be able to unlock those anytime soon. I mean, I can unlock them, but build them. I don't have the plastic to build them. Okay, so anyway, we'll, we'll ladder up to build these. I don't think ladders block Lux. Um, and then I'll need a very long wire. tiles. Perfect. <laughs> oh, wow. That is a long, 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 long wire. And they still haven't mopped any of this up. Man. So busy. No, how are you getting down here? You're not supposed to be doing that. Ah, that's just wasting their time. That's the problem. They're hopping over the fence. I forgot, they can climb two tiles. Uh-oh. Someone's gonna get trapped down there, I just know it. No, thank you guys, okay. Now, I think that's actually not gonna work either. I think we need two tiles. Because I think they could hop from the ladder on top of that and then climb down on top of that ladder. Believe it or not. I think that's what they would do. Those mopping errands are just not happening, huh? I would like you guys to prioritize this. Make this a thing that you actually do, please. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense that uh, we need the generator, because this aqua tuner's sucking up so much of the potential power. I guess I need a second natural gas generator. Maybe a second gas reservoir, and then another natural gas generator. And they can just... That way they can catch up a little faster when we do need more power. I think that's probably what, what I'll do. I think one of the dupes might be puking. Who's, who's, who's a barfer? Where do, where do you guys... Ugly Crier is fine. Biohazardous? No. Hmm. Metamic? No. Wait, what? I don't feel like anyone... I don't think we do have anyone. Orphs. Ugly Crier. Unpracticed Artist. Destructive. Binge Eater. Plant Murderer. Uh, that's not it. Um, destructive is their stress response. Ugly Crier. 
I don't actually know. I don't know where this polluted water ends up coming from. Um, I do want to sweep... Sweep the leg. Uh, sweep everything here. With, again, high priority. No, that was just the metal refinery again. How did... I'm confused on how it made polluted water, though. Because it's... No, it's got water. It's got water in it. Never mind. We're fine. Yeah, I was just confused why there wasn't stuff cycling, but that's because it has the water in it already. Um, so, yeah, I'm genuinely confused on where that polluted water came from. It's like a dupe went to the bathroom. Do I, is it a I don't have enough bathrooms problem? I mean, it truly could be. Do I just need to make another lavatory here? Maybe that's... Maybe that's what's going on. Let's, um... How tall are they? One, two, three tiles. Yeah. Let's make another lavatory. Since I can. Um... that. Be all airflow here. Deconstruct that. I'll wait until it's built and then I'll mine out the ice. And we'll just get a couple more bathrooms hooked up. Because I'm guessing that somehow is responsible for the problem here. I don't really know. Um, I also need to mop this. And we don't have a place to dump liquid mercury, which somehow dripped down from somewhere. And mercury has a very low heat capacity, but is extremely conductive. Let's just fill this area with liquid mercury. That sounds great. Okay, make a bottle emptier. How about right here? Make a tile for it. And that's where liquid mercury will go. Oh, and then I also need a storage bin where regular mercury can go to get melted. <laughs> hey, everything cooled off. It did it. Everything got properly cooled. Okay, so I can probably up the temperature a little bit then. I don't think we need negative 30. How about just negative 24 again? I don't need this area to be negative 30. Look at that, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, you are Mercury. The refined metal version and your higher priority for it because we don't want mercury to just end up chilling somewhere where it'll then melt and turn into the liquid version It is 40 degrees in here. Not quite to steam temperature, but it's getting there. Alright, the CO2 has opened up. So that should push CO2 over to here. Fluxes keep getting there. It's got to be something to do with this ladder tile situation. I don't know what's going on there.
I don't know what's going on. Good news is we have plenty of wood. So that's a thing. And... More nutrient bars. I'm running out of food again, but that should catch up now that we're back to this. Now, how many of these do I need per dupe? I totally forgot. So it's... It's 800... 1200 K cals, because I think we get 50% more per three days. So three per dupe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's enough for the dupes. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 extra for boxes. I think is enough. Yeah, they only eat 100k cows a day. Yeah, that should work. No! What is happening here? I didn't lock it. Uh, oh my gosh. You guys are literally the worst. I know, it's not their fault. It's not their fault. But this polluted ice is so annoying. I really should have put this thing in an insulated chamber, I think, and then it would have warmed up. Ugh, no, you're gonna get locked in, dude. You're dead. Okay, there we go. Thank goodness. Now they're gonna stop doing that. Um, I should have put it in an insulated chamber so that it would actually dump out polluted water instead of polluted ice. And it uses up a lot of power if I use the auto sweeper, because again, it's constantly dumping it. It's not like it waits to dump until it has a few kilograms or something. It's just dumping every single second. So it's super, super productive in terms of how much polluted water it makes, but that is super annoying. All right, and soon, 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 we will have nectar production go in here. So the mopping still hasn't gotten done here. That's that's kind of silly. Up the priority on that mopping. Cuz that that mopping actually makes it so that the gas can't be in the same tile and that's making it harder for the CO2 to spread over there. interesting theoretically well how, do, how is this gonna work i guess if the co2 the oxygen pressure could push down on this a little bit and eventually but it, it's just a lot of co2 has to flow sideways it has to flow a really long distance sideways to get over there and that's the problem i could like connect this gas pump all the way over there if we wanted to get rid of some of that co2 I don't know if that's necessary. I don't think it is. Okay, I'm actually gonna go to negative 20. Now that, now that we're at steady state, I think pumping negative 20 degree stuff around is gonna be funny to keep this whole area cool. All right, and this needs to be mercury at a fairly high priority. They've got all these little bottles of mercury sitting around. Oh, I have to mark that now. All right, so here's our bathroom uh, set up. We're gonna actually have the proper number of sinks this time. And we should just be able to plumb Yeah, we should just be able to plumb a liquid bridge to output there. And all of our outputs to that. And then the inputs 
I should just be able to split off from this. Because it's backed up, so that should work. No, 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 no. Oops, 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 oops. Almost forgot that we need a door. Whoopsies, whoopsies, whoopsies. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gotta go one tile further. And then we need to have a door. Uh, let's see. Where'd you go, bathroom? Oh, and I could do showers, too. I completely forgot about those. Do those need power? Um, just water. Okay. And they make a tiny bit of heat. Interesting. Alright, where's my sink? Why can't I find it? Lavatory? Shower? Is it not in plumbing? Am I blind? Surely I'm blind, right? Search all buildings. Wash. Station. Oh, you know, it's probably in the... Or no, not wash. Uh, wait, what's it called? It's probably in the health one. Medicine. Sink. It's just called sink. Okay. Everything and the kitchen sink. Alright, there we go. That'll do it. Now, did they get the lights built up here yet? They did! Nice. And we want to make sure we are not harvesting. Yep, the branches. I do want to auto-harvest the base of the tree. So it's growing its branches right now. Sweet. All right, and how much lux did it want? I forget where it says that. It says it's somewhere. Um, the branch. Illumination, 300 lux. 10,000 is what we'd want. Jeez. Would be like six lights all at four po full power, but the problem is they're not at full power. So, yeah, I don't really know of an easy way. Oh, can I rotate these? No, 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 you can't rotate them. A lamp does just kind of make light in general around it. And it needs 8 watts to make 1,000 lux. Okay. Um, I mean... Look, this will use a small amount of wattage to get us more plastic. So, I think that's worth it. Oh, right, they can just walk on the ground. <laughs> For some reason, I was feeling like this was a wall or something. That's funny. Alright, well that should get us some more plastic. I am a fan of that. Maybe... I'll allow two of those to be harvested. Our calories aren't a huge number right now, so I... Uh-oh. Now oh, what's this? Did something melt? Something probably melted. Yeah. Yeah, these wood heaters, they've taken a long time for the heat to add up. They do, I mean, 20,000... DTUs is not nothing, right? And so that is adding up. It is adding up. And so now ice is going to be melting in these areas. Snow. Wait, 
There's liquid mercury on here. Where does all this come from? Wait, really? Wow, liquid mercury is like invisible. Normally you see uh, the fluid on top. Just need it. Yeah, see, there's just random moppables everywhere. mopped and this really just needs to be to the left wash your hands on your way out so maybe maybe that'll fix the problem the problem is it hasn't been saying that dupes made a mess right so I don't think that's what's been happening but it just doesn't really make sense to me what exactly has been going on um yeah, I don't know. I'm not knowledgeable enough to know for sure why there's been random blobs of polluted water, but I'm guessing it's melting from somewhere. But that's what makes the most sense to me, anyway. 5.4 grams a second. So we add two zeros, 500 grams, multiply by six, uh, 3,000, so 3 kilograms a day? That's not very much. So that's about half of what we'll get, so we should end up getting about 6 kilograms a day from these. I mean, that adds up. It is free, minus the power I'm spending. So that's not that bad. I really need to go get petroleum. Let's consider sending a dupe through the teleporter again. Um, yeah. Let's send Edison through. And let's explore a bit here. We see slime, we see the, the surface. More slime. Hydrogen, water weed. There's a thing of water here. Okay. So we're going to need to start building some ladders out of granite, I think. I'll probably just go down here. Yeah, so we'll do that, and then we'll build a ladder. Oh, we don't have any minerals yet. Oh, sorry, Edison, I forgot to teleport you. Okay, so now you're here. And you can get started on the ladder down. Down to where? I know not. That's algae. You're fine to build through algae. Slime is the germy one, I think. I don't think algae's germy, yeah. But slime is very germy. Slime lung is a big deal that you want to avoid. Um, I just need petroleum, so I'm hoping to find petroleum down here. There's a coal generator over there. But yeah, I think just finding petroleum is a better plan. Also, how do we get resources back? Oh, maybe we can't. Hmm. I just realized that that might be a possibility. Interesting. Um, yeah. Defrost friend. Oh, there's someone in there. 
Interesting. I guess we need rockets to bring stuff back. I know rockets are easier after the spaced out DLC, so I should also make a basic toilet over here. Um, yeah, sure. Put that there. Priority six on all this. Get yourself a toilet, Edison. Yep. You had to go in your suit. That's, uh, that's rough. Get that built. I guess it needs dirt, too. Alright. Time to teleport back. Get out of here. So, yeah. We're gonna have to figure all that out. I'm not sure if you can bring stuff back. Oh, I see what happens. It just dumps out of here. Interesting. Interesting. I need to be making some metal. Let's make... Aluminum. Aluminum could be good. What's the melting point? Oh, never mind. That melts at a very cold temperature. Hmm. Copper. I almost wonder... Wait, I already looked into using mercury. It has no thermal... It can't hold any heat is the problem, right? Yeah, because the the liquid mercury does have a good range of temperatures that we would like to use, but the problem is the heat capacity is so bad that the whenever we make, we make steel or something, it would just totally mess it up. And I don't, I just don't have any other fluids available to me, unless I'm missing something. It's possible there's something way in that corner that I'm missing, but I don't really think. There is definitely nothing over here. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I just have to settle. I could, uh, it would be an expensive project. Uh, but where is it? The cool salt, that's the salt water geyser. Where's our cool slush? Geyser. Wait, where is it? I know we have two geysers. There's that one. And... Where the heck is our cool slush geyser? I know we have one, and now I've lost it. How have I completely lost it? Oh, it, it froze. It all froze. Interesting. Um, we could just run our stuff up there. And cool, I mean, that would be a very long pipe is the problem. And it would need to be insulated. So that's a very long building project. Yeah, it would cost a lot. But we do have 40,000 granite. But yeah, I'd have to run granite all the way up and then all the way back down. Doesn't quite seem worth it. It would kind of be a free way to cool off the coolant for the metal refinery. Um, I don't know. While I'm sitting here wondering, I should make a lot more iron. And start looking into rocketry. Rocket control station. Star map location sensor, rocket port extension, rocket platform, precursor to all other rocket modules. Okay. Well, I will need one of those. Automatically links up to rocket ports. Okay. And what other research do I need to do for rockets? Because I'm going to want to be able to load 
a fluid into the rocket. Hmm. Allows duplicants to store most of the gas resources found during space missions. Oh, interesting. Is there one of those for liquids? There we go. So we need to do a space mission, and maybe we can get some liquid resources. A wall toilet! Huh. Fancy. Okay, well, we probably should be done with this episode soon. I feel like the base is actually getting close to full sustainability. Now that we have free power, which is going to turn back on in... Uh, how many cycles? Ten more cycles. We might make it to the end uh, without any issues here. And, yeah, I mean, basically, we are just getting free power from this geyser. It's technically adding some heat, but it's going to take... It's going to take a long time for that heat to matter. We were kind of lucky that it's in a cold biome. And then... Yeah, we're now able to delete our heat properly, so we're keeping the food part of the base cooled off, and really the industrial part of the base cooled off too, because this cold will kind of spread, and I, you know, I routed this here to keep this area cool. And... Yeah, that should effectively fight the heat coming from this northeast quadrant, which I'm okay with, because that's where the dupes sleep. So I'm actually happy to print one more dupe. Choose a blueprint. Building impaired critter aversions feels fine to me. That's kind of funny. Decreased husbandry, increased hu husbandry. Uh, increased food morale. <laughs> this duplicant could lick a puff's backside and taste nothing. Um, farming and doctoring. Who do I want? I like supplying. Extra carrying capacity, tidying speed. Let's get Ada here. And then who are we gonna name Ada? Who's our, you know what? We'll, we will celebrate um, the newest patron. You are gonna be Jonathan Wales. Jonathan Wales, you have the best haircut. Um, and Jonathan Wales shall sleep there. And do we need to do anything else? Maybe open up a couple more food items. For Jonathan, just to make sure. And yeah, it'll increase bathroom usage, but we just added two more bathrooms, so we should be fine on that. And that'll allow more work to get done around the colony. Goody, goody. Yeah, that one's 62 grams a second, and these are 10% of that. But, I don't have to supply these with any snow. So that, is the, that is the positive here. And those branches are taking forever to grow. That's two cycles from being done. That one's almost done. Okay, I gotta get out of here. This has already been a long episode, but uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. And yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, these are pre-recorded, so you know, I may not hear what you have to say for a little while into the future as far as what you can see, but I've been enjoying this playthrough a ton. I know this series hasn't been the most popular on YouTube, but honestly, that's okay. Not every series needs to be the most popular, and I'm just having a ton of fun playing this game. So I'm hoping that we can get quite a bit further in this colony, and then who knows, maybe someday we'll start another colony. And, you know, maybe as I do more and more Oxygen Not Included videos, the popularity will go up slightly, I'm not sure. But all that to say, we're going to call it quits here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you all in the next one.